Jill Stein has come out here to kind of, you know, take credit for this because like I said, a lot of people were going after Cornell West saying that like, wow, you hired a Hillary Clinton Democrat and Jill Stein taking the bullet. Do for a Cornell. Victory lap after you read this, by the way. Oh yeah. She says newsflash. It was me that brought Peter Dow to Cornell West. Why? Because I learned how essential an experienced campaign manager is for my campaigns without one. He's the most experienced campaign manager I know of with independent and green politics and a strong opposition to the duopoly. Though I didn't know Peter Dow in his days as a DNC defender, it's not hard to see how a war-torn bloody childhood led to fierce opposition to Bush and bondage to the Democratic Party. If only more liberal apologists would have this kind of wake up. With an experienced campaign manager, our team can give Cornell West the support he needs to break the duopoly and give all those thrown under the bus reason to fight back, which I think is a perfectly adequate explanation. And it's kind of what I've been suggesting for a while. It's like, yeah, Peter Dow might not have the same history as an activist that someone like Stein or West does. Uh, but what he has that they don't is the experience running like l actual campaigns, you know, not 3% campaigns like Jill Stein ran. No disrespect to Jill Stein. I was, you know, one of the voters that made up that 3% that she got. Um, but I really like the fact that she's like, hey, yeah. You know, I ran for president without a campaign manager. And guess what? I got fucking 3%. I did not meet the goal that this campaign is trying to achieve. So we got to do something differently. We got to bring in someone with experience, someone that knows how to get the job done. And by the way, it doesn't really matter what your campaign manager's personal politics are, at least in my opinion. Um, they, they're there to do a job. They're not there to be a fucking activist or to hold a sign at a rally, right? They're there to do a job. And that job is to make the campaign as successful as possible. Uh, so if they know how to do that, then to me, their personal political persuasion kind of becomes irrelevant, not entirely. Like if they're just completely on a different page than you, then obviously I can understand how that would be a conflict of interest or whatever. Um, but assuming they're at least in this, like, you know, in the same direction as you, they share political ambitions and goals as you, then yeah, it's kind of irrelevant as long as they can do the goddamn job that they're brought in there to do, which is to, you know, make the campaign as successful as possible. Do you agree with that, Zach? Oh, a hundred percent. This is the exact fucking point that I made. As soon as the Marianne Williamson announced Peter Dow, as soon as Dr. West announced Peter Dow, you guys can roll tape because you heard it here first on the Vanguard. But I'm glad to see Dr. Jill Stein and I are on the same page because I like to be on the same page with the smart people I admire. And this makes total sense, right? Uh, and, 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 and so great of her to just come out and say that. Like, yeah, guys, like I did not accomplish what I think we're going to be capable of accomplishing with Cornell West and talk about somebody who's going to put their ego aside and just be for the movement. She could have taken the job as campaign manager and talked herself up and been like, we need to do this. And I, I've done this before and all this stuff, but she didn't do that. She said, I want to help this campaign go as far as it can go. And Dr. West, I think this is the guy that's going to help us. He has the best experience for a, can a campaign manager position out of anybody with the independent green politics that we have. Do I disagree with his positions in the past? Sure. But I take him at face value. And I think it's fucking uh, a little bit crazy to pretend that Peter Dow is going to be able to influence Cornell West and Jill Stein to uh, activists with the most conviction, uh, you know, out of anybody literally willing to jeopardize their and, and be smeared uh, their entire like access to any kind of mainstream publications like we don't know if uh, Cornell West will ever be able to teach at a major institution again after running for a Green Party president and they throw all the fucking shit they're going to throw out. we don't know how this is going to impact them we saw the character assassination that they did on Jill Stein I've, I've said in the past like when I was 18 I was like oh the crazy lady Jill Stein like I didn't even know I didn't even know I had to go do that homework lady or later uh, you know and and I kind of I feel a little guilty about that but it just shows how deep the propaganda runs I was a Bernie bro and I was like oh no I, I mean that lady I, I mean Bernie was serious it's like it's like no she's not crazy that's what they wanted you to think when they wanted you to think that when Bernie was done, it was over, right? So she's learned a lot of lessons. She's going to be invaluable to this campaign. But I think Peter Dow is also going to bring something to the table. Do I think that Peter Dow, you know, it had an authentic fucking... I think so. I don't have any reason to believe otherwise, right? And again, it's not really my biggest concern given the level of conviction and how positive I am that Cornell West is not going to like pivot and take Peter Dow's advice and like say that he like, you know, doesn't believe in Medicare for all or that, you know, he doesn't believe in reparations or he doesn't think climate change is real or some like huge issue, right? Like that's just not going to happen. And I wanted to give a shout out to our friend Pat, uh, who, uh, you know, we um, mentioned the other day used to run the uh, Peter Douche account. Uh, but he makes the case, he says, having written the actual book on him, which he did, he wrote a book, uh, you know, that was kind of like a graphic uh, 
uh, you know, novel type of a deal. Uh, this is a satirization of all a bunch of people. Nate's liver, you know, uh, others. Uh, what was the name of the book, uh, Gavin? Off the top of my head, I'm I fucking forget. blank. It was like the Yas Queen or something. Yeah, the Yas Queen Chronicles. There we go. We interviewed them about it. It was, it was a long time ago. Okay. Uh, anyway, he says, I support Peter Dow as part of Cornell West campaign. I stopped parodying him to give his character arc a chance and see if it was legit. I believe he's sincere. Just don't sell us revolution and tell folks to vote Biden and we're good. Don't trust his conversion. Disagree with the selection. Those are fair views to hold, but holding them against Cornell West seems unserious. Uh, and then I wanted to pull up one more uh, from our bookmarks that I bookmarked earlier. Um, just to... Uh, is that the Brie tweet? Kind of, no, this one's uh, Peter Dow. Uh, okay. Where I think that this is the biggest revelation. I don't know if you were going to throw this up, Gavin, uh, but he declares definitively that Cornell West will be on the ballot and that there will be no dropping out and endorsing a Democrat. And I think that those two things, I mean, let's go. They're making it clear on day one. This is a battle. We're fucking fighting. We're going for it. You know, you don't have to be on our team, but, you know, we're going to do what we are going to do. And uh, yeah. and I respect that. And I think that this is exactly what we've been looking for. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And it's it's pretty stupid that Peter even had to make this tweet. The only reason he had to make this tweet is because after he was selected as campaign manager, a bunch of assholes like Jimmy Dore and the people at RBN came out there and were like, "Peter Dow is an op, and Cornell West is just going to endorse Biden and she per." And like he's running as a Green Party candidate. He, there is no in dropping out and endorsing the Democrat as a Green Party candidate. Like. How the fuck do you think this works? What? Obviously, he's not going to drop out and endorse That's Joe why Biden. they hate the Greens more than they hate Bernie right. Sanders. Exactly. So, yeah, it's stupid that Peter even had to put this tweet out. But I am glad that he, you know, cleared up any potential. Yeah, exactly. Um, so dumb. Uh, but we also had another tweet, too, from Brianna. Because some people were saying that, like, Cornell West should have chose Brianna Joy Gray to be his campaign manager. I, that was a surprisingly popular take I saw from like she the tractors. secretary. It's a very different job. As she points out, she says, I literally have no idea how to manage a campaign. I've worked on one political campaign my whole life and did so in a communications capacity, not management as someone who fought passionately with Dow back in 2016 ish and who truly thought he was one of the worst, LOL, sorry, Peter, I was genuinely heartened by his political evolution. I had him on the Bernie podcast because I was honestly stunned by the courage he showed, turning his back on the Hillary camp and fighting passionately for Bernie tw Bernie's 2020 effort. And, and that's a good point, by the way. Peter Dow didn't turn on Hillary after the fact. He turned on her before the primary was over. So he actually did try his best to get Bernie across the finish line, even though he had, you know, worked against Bernie up until that point. Um, so that is, you know, that is important information. Um, he had been a cons consistent fighter since then. And it's frankly to the left of many people from the Bernie 2020 orbit who would never support a third party campaign. Um, obviously, you know, probably talking about some of the other folks from the Bernie crew. What was that guy that always wore the cowboy hat? You know, guys oh, like Chuck. That. Chuck yeah, Rose. yeah, yeah. I like guys like Chuck Rocha, but it's true that they definitely kind of went in the more establishment direction. Although uh, he's not... still really organizing like the Latino community in Texas, I'm pretty sure. So shout out to that's Chuck. That's fair. Rocha. Oh, yeah. I'm not that was just the first guy that came to mind. I have nothing against him. I just mean like sure. there were some people from the Democratic Party that that didn't necessarily continue down the road of like radical progressivism. They kind of did. Yeah, one of them became the press secretary for fucking uh, Joe Biden. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Um, so it is true that, you know, there are literally people in the Bernie campaign that are now less radical than Peter Dow, even though he came from the fucking Hillary campaign. Um, the well, I guess that was the 2016 campaign, but well, right, right. Um, the specific knowledge required to run the mini corporation that is a campaign is enormous. And the small number of people with real experience who work for progressives because they don't want to be blacklisted. Um, some of you are being rather naive about what it takes Massive. to run for president. What? Oh, oh just, just yeah, it's, I, I'm agreeing 100. Oh, yeah, 100 percent. Yeah. And this is the thing. It's like we get it. Everyone wants like the most pure, amazing activists ever. Every passes every single litmus test has never done anything wrong. Of course, that's what we all want. Like, obviously. Yeah. Um, But yeah, that also is very naive when like you expect every single person on a campaign to be fucking Shama Sawant. Like, let's be real unfortunately not everyone is perfect um brie goes on to say some of you are being rather naive about what it takes to run for president i'm having a tough time coming up with the names of folks who have experience and would be willing to work for dr west campaign 
Even Bernie struggled to find good leadership. I think people should approach this with good faith and grace. And of course, like I said, she's responding to a tweet here that's saying, I'm wondering why Cornell didn't choose fucking Brianna Joy Gray as camp. And she's like, that's because I'm not a fucking campaign manager. I've never done that job. I do not know how to do that job. Yeah, it was funny. This uh, very, very prominent uh, bar owner in Kansas City, uh, he had a hilarious Instagram post Monday night where he just said, uh, he was like, guys, going to turn my phone off for a few days, tired of getting spammed with calls from the uh, Jets, uh, as in like making a joke that like he was, they, they were, they were going to try and replace him with like Aaron Rodgers or for Aaron Rodgers who got injured the other day. That's kind of the, the deal, right? It was like, okay, like that was a tongue in cheek joke, but like, yeah, this dude's a bar manager and now he's like, oh yeah, you played, you know, high school football basically. But it's like, it's a completely different job. Of course, Brianna's brilliant. She's a, you know, she, she could learn how to do this, but is she going to be able to hit the ground running with the experience that somebody like Peter Dow has? No. Uh, no, and I'm sure there are like 10 million ways that Brianna Joy Gray could assist the Cornell West campaign if she decides to. But uh, I think that holding this over yeah, either her head or Peter Dow's head or Cornell West's head, it's just ridiculous. It's, I mean, you know, at this point, Brianna is a pr- political commentator. Um, you know, she has to be at the, you know, she would have to leave her job at the Hill. I don't know. I, all these kinds of deep, uh, things. Uh, it just, it doesn't make sense. And and uh, people often just like in an effort to be unsatisfied. This is what's crazy. Uh, is that back in the day, they would say, I'm not supporting this person. Uh, Cornell West should do it. And now that Cornell West is doing it, they have to find some other like esoteric reason not to support what's happening. Um, But also, yeah. Yep, 100%. It's also funny. I've seen some of the people suggesting that Brianna Joy Gray like work for the Cornell West campaign. Some of the same people that were like, infuriated by the fact that crystal and kyle were like had a personal relationship with marianne williamson are now just openly advocating for their favorite progressive commentators to work for or have a relationship with their favorite candidates i'm like it's just such blatant hypocrisy throw all your fucking principles out the window just to score cheap points on people you don't like it's so stupid but you know that's kind of a side note um and Jimmy yeah, Donnie would be outraged if they saw him drinking Negronis with Cornell West. They would never trust Jimmy again. They would think he was <laughs> fucking crazy. Right, or RFK or some shit, exactly. Um, and here's an example of what I was talking about, just these uncharitable <laughs> critics of Cornell who pretended to be third-party revolutionaries, but as soon as their dear leader, Jimmy Dore, threw Cornell under the bus, they have to follow suit. So this is ridiculous. Here's Compton J. Shout out to Compton J for our intro soundbite. Love that. but. This one, not so much. The professional manager, everyone that disagrees with these fucking clowns is the professional managerial class defending an absolutely terrible decision that says the opposite thing to working class people compared to what a Cornell West campaign was supposed to be about. You're already losing if you have to make a statement like this about the selection of a can. The only reason they had to make the statement like this is because of assholes like you who decided to uncharitably tear down Cornell West and smear him for making a perfectly reasonable personnel decision. Uh, That's the only reason why they had to make this statement. You fucking piece of shit.